greetings myself sharda devre associate professor government college of pharmacy amravati welcomes you to the lecture 20 case study 5 comparative evaluation of pharmacopeial standards of a drug ashwagandha under the week 4 quality control standards and regulations of traditional plant drugs in a self paced course indian traditional medicine and aromatic plants in the previous lecture we have learned the uh, pharmacopeial parameters of the very popular drug that is uh, licorice which is called as Mulethi or Jeshtamar and here we will learn the second uh, very popular drug that is uh, Ashwagandha. Intentionally the two case studies of these uh, drugs are mentioned so that we will come to know about the different pharmacopoeias and how the pharmacopoeias are including these uh, traditional plants which are having the lot of benefits or used by the humankind since thousands of years. So uh, this Ashwagandha description is mentioned in Indian Pharmacopoeia, Ayurvedic Pharmacopoeia and Herbal Pharmacopoeia but no description is found in USP or British Pharmacopoeia. So identification microscopic characters that are called as a morphological characters, color, order, taste, shape, size and extra features that are mentioned uh, in these pharmacopoeias and they are very similar to each other that color is grayish yellow, taste is bitter and acrid, order is characteristics, there is a presence of wrinkles on the roots and all this. Then microscopic characters which is uh, characteristics which are also very important from the quality control point of view when morphological characters are very similar for the different roots then there can be the confusion about adulteration uh, when the adulteration is there. So microscopic characteristics, histological characteristics to observe the uh, crude drug sections under the microscope and get the details. So that details are mentioned in these pharmacopoeias which, uh, uh, are surely, which are surely helpful for the quality control. So obvious it's uh, arrangement of the cork, uh, uh, cortex, then pith, then various parenchymatous uh, or cambium arrangement or presence or absence of the starch grain and calcium crystals, or presence of the any type of the other um, specific characteristics that is mentioned in this pharmacopoeia. Next parameter is a thin layer chromatography. Chromatography helps in the separation of a different uh, chemical constituents and this plays the important role in the quality control evaluation and for the import and export of the uh, Ashwagandha roots um, to get recognized to the different countries and to uh, get follow or comply with the different countries regulations. This chromatographic evaluation plays the important role. But this evaluation is mentioned only in Indian pharmacopoeia, not mentioned in Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia, herbal pharmacopoeia or USP. Then next uh, standard value uh, having parameter it is a water soluble extract value. This is also mentioned only in Indian pharmacopoeia and not mentioned in Ayurvedic herbal or USP or even in a British pharmacopoeia. Then alcohol soluble extractive value which should not be less than 15% that is mentioned in Indian pharmacopoeia and Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia while in herbal pharmacopoeia it is mentioned that it should not be less than 20% while in USP and British pharmacopoeia this uh, Ashwagandha uh, description is not found. As extractive values gives idea about the different organic chemical constituents uh, that are present like that water soluble extractive value generally show the presence of the different polar constituents that are present in the plant material. Alcohol soluble extractive value gives idea about the semi-polar constituents that are present. Similarly, ash value gives us the idea that how much inorganic content is present and inorganic content can vary due to the too much use of a pesticides or fertilizers or synthetic chemicals and hence it plays the role so that to avoid the further any toxicity due to the presence of the inorganic metals. So total ash value it is the parameter which is mentioned in Indian pharmacopoeia, Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia as well as herbal pharmacopoeia and in all these three the value is mentioned that is a not more than 7%. While acid insoluble ash value which is mentioned by the Indian pharmacopoeia, Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia and herbal pharmacopoeia and it is mentioned in Indian pharmacopoeia as well as herbal pharmacopoeia that it should not be more than 1.2% but in Ayurvedic pharmacopoeia it is mentioned 1%. While in USP and British pharmacopoeia, this uh, uh, drug's description is not there, so values are not there. Sulfated ash, uh, which is also important ash value, so that to get details about the uh, different uh, inorganic metals, 
so it is mentioned only in indian pharmacopoeia and it should not be more than 0.5 mg that is uh, 0.5 percent then pesticidal residues are not mentioned in any pharmacopoeia loss on drying which plays the important role to understand the moisture content because the moisture plays the role in the growth of the various microbial content or in storage also it plays the role that's why loss on drying must be uh, verified as a part of a quality control and its standard value also never changes or never varies hence uh, these values also give the important quality control uh, evaluation parameter so loss on drying which is mentioned in indian pharmacopoeia that should be not than not more than 12 percent while in ayurvedic pharmacopoeia is mentioned in a 0.01 gram while in herbal pharmacopoeia uh, loss on drying is not mentioned then foreign organic matter means uh, the any matter other than that of the biological source means for ashwagandha root is the major biological source if other than that of root of that same plant the other parts or of uh, other weeds or other plant materials are present and that is called as a adulteration so that foreign matter should be evaluated even dust debris soil content or animal excreta such a type is also considered as a foreign organic matter and it should be according to the standard procedures it should be evaluated and as per indian pharmacopoeia not more than two percent foreign matter should be present and similarly in ayurvedic pharmacopoeia as well as the herbal pharmacopoeia then assay means the determination of the percentage purity of the drug and which is mentioned in indian pharmacopoeia by the liquid chromatography uh, that is a column chromatographic technique which is generally the hplc that can be used while in ayurvedic pharmacopoeia very simple gravimetric assay method is mentioned and its content is also mentioned in indian pharmacopoeia the content is according to the vidanolides or vidafarin like that for heavy metals the indian pharmacopoeia has suggested to perform the limit test to understand the content or uh, concentration of the uh, lead acid uh, lead arsenic and other uh, toxic metals while in ayurvedic pharmacopoeia herbal pharmacopoeia such a test are not mentioned in this lecture 20 case study 5 we have learned the various uh, parameters that are mentioned in the pharmacopoeias for the very popular ayurvedic uh, siddha yunani medicinal plant that is ashwagandha i hope that learners have understood that there are the official books which are having the various quality control standard values and the plant material should be evaluated for this value and then and then it should be marketed as a raw material or further incorporated into the various formulations thank you